Good day to each and every one, especially to you, Sir Ariel Rogon. For today, we are going to show you our research entitled Pendularm, a home-based earthquake alarm system. I am Marielle M. Roberto, together with my co-researchers. I am Lady Ann Seaman Lutak. I am Kichu Iborata. I am Ayasa Pacho. I'm Yasmin D. Marquez. And we are the Group 6. Now let's proceed to our introduction. So that you'll have a glimpse about why did we conduct this research. The Philippines is one of the most disaster-prone countries in the world since it is located on the seismically active Pacific Ring of Fire, a band of volcanoes and fault lines that arcs around the edge of Pacific Ocean, causing frequent earthquakes. Every year, it experiences almost all forms of natural and human-included calamities, such as typhoons, earthquakes, floods, volcanic eruptions, landslides, fires, and armed conflicts. An earthquake is any sudden shaking of the ground caused by the passage of seismic waves around the Earth's rock. Systems for early detection of earthquakes cannot foresee earthquakes. However, it is in instantly after an earthquake starts detecting ground motion and fast sending notifications that a shaking is approaching. Giving people crucial seconds to respond, this discovery is relatively new idea in our society, like our product right here, which is the pendulum. Next is our research gap. Based on our analysis of related studies and literature, we have found that there are still drawbacks with programmable devices, such as ESP32 we use, which is incomp um, incompatible with some other devices. Another example is the related study about an alarm that uses an alternative device in which the range is constrained. Therefore, there is still research gap when it comes to different kinds of devices that might not work with specific situations but it is proven that it functions well as well as a warning system. Now let's proceed to the statement of the problem one, which will be discussed by Kate Joy Boratta. Statement of the problem one. What are the materials needed for this equipment? The materials in the, in the research use are 9 volts battery, 1 meter length wire, and... One DC buzzer, one half meter length solid wire, and 25 cent for the pendulum, magnet, male female wire, and ESP32 and HC is RO4. And we assembled using hammer, flies, and screwdrivers. Statement of the problem two What intensity of the pendulum will be act activated? After we tested it on earthquake simulator of P-Box, we observed that the earthquake alarm system work a minimum intensity too. A statement of the problem three will be discussed by Aisha Mipacho. Statement of the problem three. What is the maximum distance the sensor can send a notification to a device? There is no maximum distance. The sensor can send a notification to a device as long as you have an internet connection or mobile data. So kahit nasa malayo ka, kahit saan ka pumunta, once the sensor notifies the device you connected to, as long as you have internet connection, it can be easily detected. The statement of the problem number four will be discussed by Yasmin Marcus. Statement of the problem four. How soon will the alarm system notify the customer customer's device? The alarm system will notify the customer device once a sudden movement was detected by the range sensor. An intensity of movement. Sa mga papublikong paaralan, may mga alarm system kung saan nadedetect ito kapag may nangyayari na paggalaw sa lupa. Kaparehas sila ng aming kinokondak na products, which is a home-based earthquake alarm system. To add the uh, additional to what Ms. Marquez said, uh, situational, kunyari, uh, nagkaroon ng earthquake around 8 a.m., once na nagkaroon ng shaking, ma maggagalaw ang product and yung pendulum is gagalaw din. And masisense ito ng range sensor and ito yung magno-notify sa ating mga mobile, mobile gadget. 
Next, uh, conclusion and recommendation ay i-discuss ko. First, the conclusion. The research concluded that the pendulum is accurately operational, especially when there is an unusual shaking of the ground. The efficient, efficiency of the pendulum is above average, which concludes that it is useful and convenient to the people who will benefit from this product in times of earthquake occurrences. According to the data gathered from the respondents, pendulum has been proven its material is durable and repairable. To summarize, to summarize what has been said, the data that the researchers acquired is functionality is efficiency to its mean value of 4.06 and 4.53. And the verbal interpretation of this is very effective while the maintainability is 4.13 and the verbal interpretation is, very, is effective. So the overall mean is 4.24, which is very effective according to the table. As a result, the researchers have demonstrated that the earthquake warning system works well. The researcher concludes the pendulum is accurately op operational, especially when there is an unusual shaking of the ground. The efficiency of the pendulum is above average, which conclude that is useful and convenient to the people. Next, the recommendation. The product lacks on volume control on how will the volume of the buzzer will alarm due to the magnitude of the earthquake being sensed by the device. The researcher may utilize some robotic gadgets and other programmable devices like ESP32, HCSRO4, range sensor, and other gadgets. This may upgrade the product to form an earthquake detector into an earthquake sensor and magnitude meter. The researchers suggest that people could rely on the functionality of the improvised earthquake alarm during an unusual shaking of the ground. The researcher recommend using the improvised earthquake alarm as an alternative to standard earthquake alarms. The researcher also recommend further developing the product by first, researching how to have more energy storage for a longer period usage and not required in the long run. Second, further testing is required to ascertain the efficiency of the product. Third, fabricate a mechanism that enables a semi-automatic control on disabling the alarm instead of manually switching it off. Lastly, to develop an upgrade on not just alarming for sudden shaking of the ground but a device to determine the magnitude level of an earthquake being detected and last we will show you the video presentation of our product or experimenting of our product That concludes our presentation. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.